What is up everybody? So I don't know what it is right now, maybe it's because it's this time of year, or maybe because I'm back home with friends, but strangely, at this moment, I am actually feeling quite relaxed. Hey. What the heck? Oh, I'm sorry, was I not wanted at this exact second? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, everyone, please welcome my anxiety. So, I don't get it. I was just making a YouTube video. There is literally nothing to be anxious about. Aren't those the best times for me to show up? I even was saying how relaxed I was feeling. Ah, but that's when you start wondering why you do feel all relaxed. You don't usually feel this way, so what are you doing different? What are you doing wrong? What are you forgetting to do? Okay, stop it. Stop! Uh, hey, uh, this is Thomas, and uh, this is usually where I start off uh, by saying something quick and witty to begin the video. Yeah. So yeah, another video. This is awesome. Oh wait, actually, I usually start off this video by saying, what is up everybody? But you know, I don't actually hear your responses, and strangely enough, I'm not concerned about consistency today. You know what I want to talk about? Eating food. Or you know what, actually, maybe about that TV show I just watched. Or maybe I should just watch another TV show and eat some food. That's it. All right, until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Uh, if I may, I'm going to step in for a second. Ah, Logan's here, so I probably did something wrong. What? No, you just seem to be a little uncharacteristically careless. Hmm. I hadn't cared to notice. Oh, that's it. There it is. That's what you were saying. Yes. I mean, you tend to start the video with at least some sort of direction before the inevitable internal conflict. They do usually follow that story arc. But maybe that's a good thing, you know? Like changing it up? No. I mean, maybe. No, I don't know. You're confusing me. I think I have a vocab word for this. Uh, you good fam. Wow. That was bad. But like, you're a really good trier, Logan. You're really good. Thanks. If anybody like texted me. Ooh. Thomas, you didn't answer the question. Your question about whether or not I'm good fam? That's the one. You'd probably know when something is up because you usually provide, you know, the explanatory exposition in my videos because all the other characters are too zany or relatable. Okay, I'm at a loss here. Should we check on the others? If you want. I do. I do want that. Are you going to- Morality! Creativity! Wow. Rude. You're too cool to call us by our names, kiddo. Nah. That was just the easiest way to, you know, Quickly establish what you guys generally represent in case there are any new viewers watching. Jeez, okay, uh, consider taking a more nuanced approach with that explanation next time. He's my logical side. He's my logical side. Uh, is everything Gucci, Thomas? I suppose I could have posed the question that way as well, but that is precisely why I wanted you to hear. You mean us three. Oh, did I say three? No. Then I guess I didn't mean three. He's made mistakes before. An uncommon occurrence. Well, then you might say the amount of mistakes you've made is infinitesimal? You make one mistake and this is what happens. Okay, time out for thee and time out for thee. Focus on issues or focus on me. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns! Please stop. Come stop, on. please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mulan! Thomas, this aloofness that you are displaying is highly unproductive. You mean I can't make babies? What? Just kidding. I... Can someone else please? Some... Like, flames. On the side of my face, see, seething, seething fire. Is something bothering you, buddy? An unattainable dream? A hopeless romance? Lack of sleep? A, a puzzling situation? Having trouble with adultery? Oh yeah, you always say that instead of becoming an adult or adulthood. As if you didn't know the troubling definition of the word you're using. Which actually means, you know, when I- Wait, Pumbaa, not in front of the kids. I don't know what you two are talking about, but something definitely seems to be off. You keep saying that, but honestly, I'm good, fam. Now, don't you go shortening the word family by cutting out my three favorite letters. I-L-Y. Okay, well, Patton definitely seems to be doing okay. How about you, Roman? Let's see, uh, Disney references, regal appearance, general awareness that I'm better than you two. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Then what could be wrong here? Boy, you both always act like you know all the answers, so it's surprising that you keep overlooking something so simple. Oh, is that so, Patton? He's so cute. And, uh, what might that be? Where is anxiety? Hmm. Do you honestly think it's necessary to have him here? To offer his mopey, dopey input? I, I don't like him. I'm still hungry. Stop. No, no. Stop him. Stop him. Thomas, this is highly... Get it right now. Do, 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 do. 
we can't dude, afford dude, these dude, detours dude. Oh, anymore. I found some granola. We're trying. We're doing a. We're doing a vid here, buddy. All right. Well, at least it's something healthy. Thomas, isn't there a more important thing that you should be focusing on right now? Oh, you're just getting it all over the carpet, aren't you? All right. W well, what if you have guests over? Well, it won't happen for a while. So <laughs> he's definitely inviting some ants over. <laughs> just ants, no uncles. Can you at least? Can you take off the hoodie? Like you look like a hot mess. Nay, not hot. Cool. Nay, not cool. Uncool. An uncool mess. If you want me to. Oh dear, sweet mother of hairbrushes! What is your hair? I'm just letting it do its thing. There's a lot of viewers that are gonna see you like this, so yeah, they've seen me on better days, so it evens out. You know, Thomas, I don't know if that makes sense. You have kind hair. Oh, thanks, I guess. Kind of hair that grows on a dog's butt. <laughs> That's probably an accurate comparison. Uh, just put your hood back on. You're the boss, Hoss. What does that mean? I'm not Hoss. I'm mm -hmm. Prince Roman. Ugh. Okay, well, better bring in Count Wolof. Any input is better than what Mr. T is contributing. Roman brought the clever nicknames to the table. I brought the oats and honey clusters to the table. Put them down. Okay. Fine, let's get him here. Anxiety? Hmm, that's all. He's probably listening to that PG-13 music again. Anxiety! Ugh, oh, how dare he... What? Now, now, try to be a little more loving. You catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Anxiety! Come on up here, kiddo. Come on up here so everyone can see that cool makeup. Well, love has failed me. <laughs> that can be applied to many instances in my life. The first being... Steady now, Thomas. Are we really going down that road? Uh, you usually don't like talking about that kind of stuff. You've got no shame. Definitely not much of a filter. Yes, and no fear. You, you have, have no... no... I have no anxiety. Is that what you guys are trying to say? Okay. Well, he also has no sense of tension built up. That's disappointing. This is very disconcerting. I don't know. Shouldn't a lack of fear be a good thing? <gasps> Roman, I'm surprised at you. What? Anxiety can be a gloomy goober sometimes, but he's still one of us. Is he though? Check it out. Morality, logic, creativity. We three are the most important facets of Thomas's personality. Plus, we all contribute a little extra stuff too. We got along just fine without him in the first two Sander Science videos. He may not have had a physical presence, but he was always there within Thomas to some extent, and he contributes more than what you credit him. Plus, he too may represent more than just anxiety, even though that is a significant part of who he is. Even still, I just don't see why he's necessary. If anxiety's gone, what do we have to lose? I don't fear death. Wow. So you're super brave. That's good. There's a difference between bravery and acting without caution. Think fast. Yeah. Oh my sweet Cole Sprouse. What? That really hurt. Was that a laptop? That like hurt real bad. Whoa! Unalert and without his natural defensive reflexes. Yes, it seems that anxiety has officially clocked out. Okay, well, he can work on that. Thomas, did you remember to lock your motor vehicle earlier today? I probably did, I'm not sure, but probably. Weaker memory. What? That's not a symptom of a lack of anxiety. Not directly, but with the anxiety over leaving his car unlocked, Thomas always double checks to make sure, securing that memory in place. I, I doubt, doubt anybody, anybody will go looking, looking through his car. car. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! You just see the best in people. But he can't always afford to. Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, it sounds like I'm in trouble or something. No, it just sounds like these two are worrying too much. That's the thing. Is anyone among us worried? It's because he isn't worried, and that doesn't seem right, Roman. Prince, he's never liked anxiety. That's his problem. That's not true. Mm. Hey there, Princey. Oh, okay, I can't stand that guy. I'm trying hard not to like you right now. Still don't like you. What was that? The Chim Chim Taru. To offer his mopey dopey input, I, I don't like him. Oh, now your memory works. That's convenient. It is interesting to note that Patton and I have both had our moments of seeing eye to eye with anxiety, but you seem to remain resolute as ever in how you perceive him. Look, I am the dreamer, and the one big thing that gets in the way of pursuing any new adventure is Fear. Took my pants off. Wow. No one hey, can no. see. I don't care. Yep. We are getting your anxiety and shame back. I cannot deal with any more of this ridiculousness. You put them back. Right now. All right, fine. Well, if anxiety is not here, where is he? Uh, probably in his room. His room? Technically, it's the corner of your mind that you'd go to if you wanted to enhance your anxiety for some reason, or if you wanted to cathartically indulge in typically troubling emotions. Think the mind palace, but specifically for anxiety. Where else do you think we come from? Where do we go? Where did you come from, Cottonmouth Joe? So you all have one? Oh my goodness, more stuff I'm learning about myself. Uh, I'd rather go to Patton's. Can we go there? Nope. We need to go to Anxiety's room to check on Anxiety. This is the priority. Do you remember what we just were talking about? Ah, okay. So we're all going to Anxiety's room? <sighs> Who knows what that tragic kingdom looks like. Mm. Are you good to join us on this, Thomas? 
Because we need you to get us all there. Yeah, it sounds fun or whatever. Ah, uh, okay. I thought I would like you without your never-ending assembly line of predicaments, but this is truly, truly bothersome. Just focus on the things that would normally make you anxious. That is the corner of your mind where we need to go. It may be difficult to go down that road. Got it. Yeah, okay. There is no drama in this today. <sighs> Into the unknown. Here we go. Again on my own. Going down to Anxiety's Corner. Oh, I guess I'm doing this too. This is new. Whoa.